Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the wind sail sling bag. And it really looks like a wind sail. I'm looking at it and it's that perfect shape. It does look like it's kind of leaning off in the wind a little bit. Um, so I believe this is the bag that I think got sort of teased in a couple of photos on, I believe it was Instagram. I think, I don't really know because I'm not on it, but uh, I think it was shared on Facebook a couple times. I think Debbie may have had one and I think, I think, was it one of Amy's kids, I think, um, had one in, in a photo. So anyways, so it's a sling bag. Usually I'm not a sling bag kind of person, um, but I might become one because I kind of kind of liking that. Okay, and it's, the shape is, it definitely looks like a, like a wind sail, which I think is really, really good. Um, they don't always make the names make sense, but this one really did. And it even has a little top handle, so kind of liking it. All right, it's only 7% off though, so I'm not all that excited about the price. Definitely not gonna be buying it this time around. It is most definitely gonna make it as a, a, a product that, we, that we're that we gonna see on other platforms like Lug Live and stuff. So, uh, and it'll be at least 20% off there at some point, so they say. So anyways, let's look at the colors. So sky blue. So they didn't put them in every um, neon unless they've sold out. Have they sold out? Because I know that with the, what's the other one? Uh, the sky skyliner is that what it's called um i miss on all the colors because i'm really late to the game i'm just watching this these videos sort of at the end of friday night i've been really really busy and haven't had a chance to um look at anything so this is the the night after they got released or the night of the day they got released and i just haven't had time so um yeah so it's possible they came out in all the colors and i've just missed them um magenta actually you know let's go back i just want to see what color is inside? Yeah, of course. I don't. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a different color. Uh, yeah. So it's that floral, that bright floral. I guess blue, and this is just bright floral. What's this? Okay, sand taupe. I'm assuming it's the little animals. Hey, bouquet yellow. It's always nice to see that they're bringing back colors that are really popular. So, but that you know maybe look like it took a hiatus for a little while. And camo taupe. And Crimson Large Dot, and Midnight Black. And you know what? I'm wondering if that's, oh, I'm wondering if that's a color that would be something that a guy would wear. Um, but I feel like, like, I know that I've shown this color to my man, and he does not like that uh, interior. He doesn't like that uh, sort of that tropical thing going on. Um, it, he finds that sort of old lady is what he said. <laughs> um... I guess it's kind of unisex, but it's not, you know, it's not like it's a geometric print or anything like that. So anyway, all right. So let's look at the colors that it comes in. Maybe I missed one. Oh no. So they're all here. All right. So they have not sold many of these. Um, so all the colors that were here earlier are still here. Abstract fern, that's what it's called. Um, and then, um, yeah, so it looks like, I just realized that my camera's really kind of off and crooked. I'm really sorry. I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. Um, cause I was, I actually had turned it earlier today cause I was trying to look at the uh, video and I've had some issues. Okay. So anyway, so I'm sorry. I had to move that there again. Still not much better, but sorry. It's kind of straight, right? Uh, um, okay. So anyway, um, where was I, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So eh, they haven't sold a ton, which is fine. Um, and I guess it's like a, a, a slightly larger coupe, but for your back, <laughs> as opposed to like on your waist. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, let's, uh, let's, okay. Let's, let's read what's, what's going on here. So it says, um, there is so much to adore about wind sail, the teardrop styling, the strap that attaches on either side. Oh, that's cool. RFID protection, the surprising roominess in one main compartment and the soft lining of the other. Ooh. Okay. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Uh, the list goes on. Wherever the wind takes you, you'll stay organized and stylish with wind sail. Um, I can totally see myself getting this for like a guy, but I'm still not sure that interior is gonna be is gonna be good. And unfortunately, like you know, like guys would have used that one. Like that's a color that a guy would wear. Um, but then they put flowers in there, so they just sort of limited the number of people who they could sell this to. Um, and I think this one probably would have been fine. Would have been fine as well. I don't know how many guys would be cool with the with the animals on the inside. Probably fewer than not. Um, this is probably the only one. But you know what? Not everybody likes camo. So um, yeah, I would have loved to have gotten this for my guy. It's really unfortunate. 
because I know he doesn't like that interior. Okay, measurements. So it is 10 inches wide. Whoa, that's big. What do you mean? 10 inches wide where? At the bottom? That's really big. I thought that was going to be way narrower than that. Um, and then 16 and a half inches high. Whoa. Okay, this is way bigger than I expected. Okay, I looked at it and I thought it was going to be like a coupe. This thing is huge. Um, yeah, that's really long. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. This is not a coupe on your back. This is big. And then only 0.5 inches deep. Okay, so it's 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 super thin. Uh, so it really, really is a wind sail. <laughs> um, okay, and then it says shoulder strap. Okay, so whatever. I guess that's kind of hard to say because it's, it's adjustable with a two-inch handle drop at the top. All right, so uh, features. So uh, one, main, one main zip compartment, one soft line compartment. I wonder if it's this little guy right there. It's probably what they're talking about. Um, one soft, uh, soft, sorry, one bl back soft line pocket with a magnetic closure, body trim, okay. And then interior pocket, cargo pocket, clear view ID, one pen holder, awesome. Um, back zipper pocket with retractable key bungee and an RFID top main zipper. I think I was gonna have to go on a tour because I can't imagine even what this all looks like. So let's do the tour. So again, no sound because I'm gonna get copyrighted now. I was, this is what I did last time. I kind of made it bigger and I kind of, I'm hoping that you can see it all. I don't know if I can take that back, but hopefully you can see it. Okay. So. Okay. That's what they mean by that, that you can switch sides. That's actually handy. That looks like it fits really, really well too. Oh, you can wear it on the front. I like that. I do love that you can put it front or back. I would probably wear it in the front. And that was the soft line pocket. Wow, you can put an umbrella in there? That's really big. That's great. Oh, so it's a little it's a little pen like band. So it's not like a full pocket like they usually do. And I do like that they put the cell phone pocket against your body. And that's really good too. Against your body as well. You know what? I am liking this bag way more than I thought I would. I think the shape is very windsail-y, and I also love how many features there are, considering how tiny this little thing is. Um, I don't know if I would actually, well, I might carry it actually. Because again, on those days you kind of want a coupe, but the coupe is too small, um, which happens to me all the time. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, actually, let me see if I can turn this a little bit. Uh, there was a day where I took my skipper um, and this would have been the perfect bag for the day I, I wore my skipper because the skipper was too small. Um, it didn't hold a water bottle. It was too small for that, but I wanted something really thin that sort of kept really close to my body. And this would have been the answer. I, yes, this would have held everything I wanted that day. And I'm sad <laughs> that I did not have this. And I really like it. I'm mean, actually, it's growing on me. I actually truly did not think I was going to like this, but I am liking this more and more as I look at this. Um, and the fact that there's a top handle, I guess it's a top like loop. It's not really a handle, is it? It's a loop. You can hang it up on your, on your, on your, uh, you know, coat rack or something, but I like it. I like that it's really close. Now I, I guess I would have to see how it feels. This is one of those ones where I feel like it looks really good, but I might put it on and hate it because if it sits awkward on my body or if it hangs or it flops or it, you know, it, it flaps or whatever it is, I think I would, I would go bonkers. So, but it looks really good when she puts it on, but I know she looks good in everything. So, and that's a really big pocket. Like you can put like two pairs of sunglasses in there if you wanted to, which is awesome. I love that there's enough room, like that pocket is big enough. You can put like a water bottle and probably a, a, like an umbrella. So, and it looks like you definitely get the biggest wallet in there, which is also really handy. And I love this. I love that this has a whole separate pocket because I'll be honest with you, key bungees, as awesome as they are, and I love them, I always find that because of where they are in the bag, I have to sort of move other things out of the way in order to get my keys or the keys are to sit on top. Um, or worse, they start stabbing things. <laughs> so the one thing about key bungees is that they are so great because you can always find your keys. You always know where they are. They're always attached um, and you can find them easily. But 
yeah, they always sort of sit in an awkward place. So even with mine, sometimes I have to put my keys like inside a key, like a like a coin pouch, so that they don't just sort of scrape and stab everything. Uh, but the problem with the key pouch is that sometimes the keys don't fit inside. Um, and the other thing with that is with the with the key bungee at all. Like I said, it's hard to maneuver it around other things in your bag. So it is a great great thing to have the key bungee have its ab has a, have, have it have its own pocket. So one, it's not stabbing anything else. And two, you can still find it. And three, yeah, you actually don't have to worry about it getting in the way of anything or having it get in the way of other things. So yeah, I'm really kind of liking this and I'm really upset that it's, uh, that I like it. Cause I was really hoping not to buy more stuff. I mean, I have been to how many lug sales? Uh, and I bought so much stuff. I've now spent, I don't even want to talk. No, I, I don't want to tell you how much I've spent at the warehouse sale. And I'm about to go to another one. And here's a brand new bag that I want. And I also still want that Skyliner. So of the two bags I've watched a video for so far, the new bags, I want them both. Damn it. <laughs> Lug, you gotta stop this. You gotta stop making stuff that I want. Because eventually I'm not gonna have room for it. Ugh. All right. Well, the good thing is there's nothing really, I mean, I think I might get that color, although I don't have anything that would work with that color for me. Um, and I feel like that color would get really easily dirty and stained and stuff. So, um, but I do like it. Trat. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, anyways, there we go. Um, I think that's the only color I would get, except maybe the black. I would probably get the black. But when I wear things like this, I think I wanted something a little bit more fun because it was usually, I would wear this on a day where I'm like, yeah, going to visit some, you know, tourist trap. Um, I'm at someone's barbecue. I'm going for a hike. So I don't care whether it matches my outfit quite as much. Um, but I don't know, maybe I would get this one. I might get this one. You know what? I'm, if I get this one, if it comes down in price, I'm getting the blue one because I do like that interior. I love blue. It's cute. It is so cute. I would have actually liked it that ocean blue. If it was in the ocean blue, I would get that in a heartbeat. Um, if it were like a heather indigo, I would get that in a heartbeat. Um, oh, Dragonfly navy. I want that in Dragonfly navy. Okay, many other colors I would have preferred more. So maybe there'll be another color coming out soon. Who knows? Anyway, so there we go. That is my first impression of the wind sail sling bag. So let me know if you're getting one and tell me what you think of it. Tell me why you're getting it. And I want to know what colors you're getting too. Um, and um, yeah, I kind of want it. So yeah, if you guys get it before me, tell me what you think of it. Cause I really, really want to know. I want a review of this before I get it, I think. So that's it. That's my video. Thank you so much for watching. There's still more to come. And um, yeah, I'm getting busy for the next little bit trying to make these videos and try to get them out to you. So that's it. Thanks so much. Have a great one and I'll see you next time.